Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. This is just a bit of an update video to let you all know what's going on with the latest VESC batch. Um, as some of you know, it has been delayed. Unfortunately, the VESC is one of those things that is nearly impossible to get made on time. Uh, for the last 12 months, we've been suffering from stock shortages and constant delays and it's very frustrating. I know everyone out there in the DIY electric skateboard community just wants to build their boards. Um, and they want to build the best boards they can. That's why they want the VESC. So unfortunately, um, our original date of late March has come and gone. Um, some of the reasons behind these delays I, I want to discuss in this video. So. Um, to give you a bit more background, so this, this batch of VESCs that we're making is the first time we've used a US-based manufacturer. The, the first few batches we did um, were all Chinese-based manufacturers. We went to China just to keep the cost down because we know you guys want the, the best prices on the VESC. And, you know, China has good quality and bad quality. It's, it's up to the the resellers like me to filter through that and and pick a winner and we've um, had some pretty good success rates so far we've sold well over last count I think it was 600 vests uh, our failure rates are fairly low around 3% so overall so far quite happy we moved to the US though for a few reasons one we're sick of being out of stock so we wanted to partner up with a new supplier who had strict manufacturing standards, much more strict than what you will get from the, the um, Asian-based um, PCB manufacturing houses. Um, the the US-based manufacturer is producing some excellent quality and we have had samples uh, from the factory. Unfortunately, um, this process has taken much longer than anticipated. Um, the first PCBs they manufactured, unfortunately, had some issues with uh, the layer configuration, and that set us back a few weeks. The second round of samples um, had some slight, just a tiny issue with a mix-up on some of the components. So, another few weeks. And because they've got such strict protocols in manufacturing these delays have really caused a problem where you know with with our past manufacturing issues that we've had uh, yeah there's been delays but normally we can get over them very quickly um, in one of our previous batches we halfway through the process we um, there was a new hardware update for the the vest. So we scrapped the PCB, created a whole new PCB mid-production schedule and yeah, it put us back four weeks but I think it was the right decision. There's always going to be some hiccups along the way. So what are the reasons for these delays that we're experiencing? So I briefly mentioned them before but samples were delayed. Uh, there were a few issues with two samples that we couldn't let slip, so we had to get things remade, and that cost quite a bit of time there. The other big problem is when you buy a thousand units, everything becomes more complicated. The usual suppliers that um, we, or, or anyone goes to for electronic components don't carry 6,000 MOSFETs. Um, we've spoken with the the actual factories and tried to source things directly there's been ongoing negotiations but this is this is definitely uh, a new challenge that we haven't had to face um, sourcing the, the the actual components has certainly been challenging um, I think we've probably nailed down everything that we've needed to but uh, these things need to be made. All the components need to be made in larger quantities because they're just not available from the retail suppliers uh, of the micro components. So um, more delays 
unfortunately, is what that means. So, unfortunately, that's the bad news. The good news is if you've um, invested in this batch, they will be coming. They will be the best VESC to date. The quality uh, that I've seen so far is exceptional. Um, the standards that this particular um, manufacturer adheres to are world-class leading standards. None of the other VESC suppliers are meeting these standards as far as I'm aware at this point. So that's a big plus and everyone's going to get a much better quality VESC at the end of the day. So unfortunately, if you can't wait for that, which will be at this point, uh, I would say early May is our, our uh, current timeline. So if you don't want to wait, uh, you can have a refund, that's fine. You just need to uh, email support at inertionboards.com with your order number and just say you want a refund. Um, that's not a problem. As long as you're aware, the price that you have paid for now Unfortunately, it's a sales price. The price will be going up very shortly. So if you do get a refund now, later on, it will cost you a little bit more, unfortunately. Um, but that's your call. Um, so just to give you a little bit more options, if you want to get your refund, that's fine. There are some other suppliers out there. So uh, let me just rattle some off for you. So there's Olin Board Co. They're based in the US now. Uh, these are hand manufactured, um, and you know they're they're as far as I'm aware they're coming out fairly quickly at the moment. I I would say there's probably a a few weeks there um, in in terms of, of getting your vest if you order there because they are handmade to order. Um, that'll probably they're about sixty percent more expensive than the vests that we're selling, um, but perhaps a little bit quicker wait there. So that's one option for you. The other option is a uh, supplier in Germany, eSkate, so E-S-K-8 dot D-E. Um, they've got in stock now, I believe, some VESCs. Unfortunately, once again, the price there is a little bit higher. They're about 80% more than the VESCs from Inertion. Uh, the other option is DIY electric skateboards. Uh, they are matching our price. Uh, this is their first attempt at the VESC, so um, I think there could be some some little issues there. They're also delayed. They're not in stock there, um, but they are ninety nine dollars uh, US dollars that is at the moment. So, but yeah, that's their that's their first run at the VESC uh, for us. Uh, for Inertion, we've done about six batches. So we're getting rather experienced with that product now. Uh, we've gone through a few suppliers and we've learned lots of lessons. So, um, you know, I'm really confident in this next batch. Uh, we're actually getting a thousand of these units manufactured. Um, the reason we, we're going so big is we're sick of running out of stock. Um, over the course of the last few batches, you know, we used to sort of get about 100 and then we stepped that up to about 200 and, you know, they just, the demand has constantly outstripped supply with this product. So we're getting a thousand of them. The quality is going to be exceptional. Uh, the standards that the manufacturing processes adhere to are world-class industry standards. So. Um, you know, we have no doubt that the quality is going to be fantastic. Um, the price is fantastic. Unfortunately, the wait is lengthy and uh, we have missed our deadline. So thanks for listening to this update. You've got a few options there. If there's any questions, just write them down below or go to the, uh, the forum electric-skateboard.builders and um, I'll be posting that video here. We can have a discussion about it. And yeah, happy electric skateboard building. See you later.